Hello everyone, today we're going to go over 6th grade lesson 8. Okay, so first question. There are 6 women for every 4 men in Sam's father's company. Which of the following ratios is equivalent to the ratio of men to women? Okay, so let's write the ratio with the given information. So since the ratio is men to women, we'll do 4 to 6. And let's try simplifying this by dividing 2 on both sides, since they are both divisible by 2. And that would give us 2 to 3. And now looking at our options, we have 2 to 3 here. So D would be the correct answer. Okay. Next question. The ratio of baseball pitchers to catchers in Mike's baseball league is 4 to 1. 4 to 1. Baseball pitchers to catchers. Okay. So which of the following is equivalent to this ratio? Okay. So... Pictures to catchers is 4 to 1. And now let's look at our options. So all the options say that there would be 32 pictures, right? So then in order to make the 4 pictures into 32, let's multiply 8 and multiply 8 here, both sides. We get 32 to 8. So B would be the correct answer. Okay. Third question. On the Longview professional basketball team, there are two Europeans for every eight Americans. Which of the following is equivalent to this ratio? So two Europeans for every eight Europeans, right? And now let's simplify this. Once again, we divide 2 on both sides. We get 1 to 4. So 1 European for uh, to 4 Americans. So C is the correct answer. Okay. okay. Benjamin's father is a writer working on his new uh, book. Let's rewrite this book. Oops. <laughs> well, anyways, that's supposed to be book. <laughs> he wrote 32 pages of his new book in six days. And at this rate, how many day how many pages will Benjamin's father write in eight days? Okay, so six days he wrote 33. Let's try simplifying this so it's easier for us to uh, uh, find the rate. So we know both of them are divisible by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. Uh, 33 divided by 3 is 11. So now let's use this simplified uh, rate. In order to find for find the pages he wrote in eight days, so then that means that two days he for every two days he writes eleven pages, right? So then we can multiply by four, right? So here, me let me write down our steps. So we multiply three here. Oh no, we divide three. Sorry. We divided 3, and we divided 3 to simplify and get this, the rate, right? Now we get the simplified version of the rate in order to get 8 days. So now we can do the 2 days multiplied by 4 to get 8 days. And that means we multiply 4 here as well. And so four, 11 times 4 is 40. 
therefore, C is the correct answer. Okay. Uh, let's skip number five and let's do number six. So David rode a bicycle at a speed in a local bike race. He rode 36 miles in three hours. So what was the speed of David riding his bicycle in the race? So 36 miles in three hours. So then, what would be the miles per hour, right? So then that would mean that uh, per hour, so uh, in one hour, how many miles would he drive, right? So then we basically just do 36 divided by 3, because in order to get 1, we divided 3 here, right? Then we also divide 3 on top. Oops, sorry. Divide 3 on top, 36 divided by 3 is 12. So D is the correct answer. Okay, let's do one more question. Uh, let's do let's do number eight. So Lily bought 12 pounds of apples for 16 dollars. So how many pounds of apples can Lily buy for $20? So 12 pounds of apples for $16, right? And again, let's do the same thing as the previous question, or the question we did before. Uh, so we can simplify this, right? Both are divisible by, by 2. That would be 6 and, oh no. It's divisible, well, it's both are divisible by 4, I mean. That's the greatest common factor. So 12 divided by 4, that is 3. 16 divided by 4, that is 4. So this means that 3 pounds of apples would cost $4, right? Now let's use this to find how many pounds of apples Lily can buy for $20. So we can multiply by 5 to get $20. Then we also multiply by 5 on the top. Multiply by 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So A is the correct answer. 